I'm in Calgary on the road again, about to check out a very literal farm to table experience. I'm on my way to see Starla from Heart Rock Ranch and they provide one of Calgary's top restaurants, River Cafe, with their product constantly featured on Canada's top 100 best restaurant list. They pride themselves on that farm to table experience and really understanding the impact of farming and the relationship with restaurants. Just want to give a shout out to our partner Chevrolet for sponsoring this video. I am driving the 2019 Chevrolet Silverado LT Trail Boss. It's big, it's red, it's the coolest truck on the road right now. Calling Starla. Hello? Hi Starla. Hi. Hey, it's Matt, how are you? Good, how are you doing? I'm good, I'm just on the road, on my way to come see you. Could you do us a big favor? I'm a favor kind of guy. Uh, it's a big help if you could pick up the micro acre things of greens. They grow all kinds of tasty micro greens. Okay. For customers in restaurants. Thank uh, you. And what, this is like a, just a small grab? Like nothing huge, I guess? They're pretty heavy bins. Oh, okay, well. Pounds. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. 400 pounds, deal. Can't wait. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Thanks, Matt. Bye, Starla. She's got me doing tasks. <laughs> uh, on the ranch. <laughs> it's a really big one. Oh, look at the pigs. Excuse me, do you know where Heart Rock Ranch is? Is this it? Okay. Hey, Starla. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. Thanks welcome. for having me at the ranch. Yeah, welcome to Heart Rock Ranch. Oh. So thanks so much for picking up all those bins, hey? I'm putting you to work today, right? So we're gonna feed the ducks, gather the eggs, and then uh, who wouldn't mind hooking up your truck and hauling the hammer mill across the yard. You just made that sound so cool. You're gonna hook up the, <laughs> the hammer haul. Yeah. The hammer, is that it? Hammer just make mill. Well, let me show you around. All this stuff here, this is all you? Uh, yeah, it goes from that corner and then to that far corner of trees and then it goes <laughs> to the back <laughs> and then up <laughs> that way. It's massive. Yeah. Sarla, so Heart Rock Ranch, your baby. Yeah. Tell me a bit about her. Yeah, well, it was always our dream to live in the country and we didn't really know what that would look like. It took a lot <laughs> Looks of like years. this, just yeah, so Yeah, you know. well, and this, <laughs> it's more than we could ever have imagined. Clearly you're doing something right now because you have quite a quite a, a land here that you're producing from. What happened is we just wanted to raise our own food for our own family. I know that as a chef, I couldn't do what I do without you being able to wow. do what you do. Like it goes a long way to tell a farmer that because really it is so much hard work, but it's completely worth it when you see it on your own dinner table or at a restaurant, right? right. We got into restaurants pretty quick and they were really happy with the quality of um, the meat we're producing. Of the meat you're producing. So you're, yeah. you supply a lot of Calgary-based restaurants with the, the food that we have here today. Yeah, so uh, we supply River Cafe. Like, right? top notch, well, top notch. If you're gonna do it, you just go to the top. Go to the top. That's right. We were approached by a chef at the restaurant and said, hey, you guys think you could raise ducks? Because we would love to do local Alberta duck. Nobody's really doing that. Yeah, because Alberta, everyone's like beef. That's, yeah. that's like on everyone's mindset. Beef, beef, beef. Yeah. Tricky. It's tricky with the ducks. Um, why? Why so? Uh, it's very different to actually process ducks than chickens. Interesting. So it's actually really tough to get to raise a duck and get it to the end product at the restaurant. So they <laughs> just threw this challenge at us, and kind of keeping how we do everything else, right? Made just, it happen. Is it true for every two ducks you need one goose? <laughs> <laughs> so I know I'm here to work today, uh, but what exactly are we going to be doing? All right, so we're gonna be feeding the ducks that are actually end up at the River Cafe restaurant. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, cool. so they're gonna take those micro bins that you picked up. Nothing micro or about micro those bins. Micro acre bins, yeah. <laughs> I know. Let me tell you something, there's nothing micro about those bins. Yeah. They're huge. Yeah. <laughs> all right, well, let's go do that because uh, I wanna see ducks yeah. happy and fed and yeah. you know, all those things. Yeah. No, I'm fine. You're good? I've done okay. this at least twice. <laughs> You've done it at least twice. All right. 
Aren't these great? Like, look at these greens, hey? Okay, so we're literally just gonna take these and launch them. Yeah, we're just gonna launch them. So when we first started wanting to raise our own food for our own family, we learned a lot about what animals are, and birds are actually being fed. So we actually had to go out of province to find a soy-free, corn-free alternative. Okay. As well as getting custom feed made. Sure. And doing this, and as well as feeding these kind of greens, right? Uh, we found the flavor of the meat and the eggs is just phenomenal. So sure, it makes sense, though, right? Like yeah. the same thing goes for humans. When we eat better food, yeah. we feel better as a result of it. Yeah, for sure. The pea shoots help to add a lot of flavor to the meat. And that's obviously what the the chefs are looking for, right? It's been really neat to hear feedback, like from top restaurants, just saying, "Wow!" Now here they come. The ducks are great. Dear running. Murphy, here they come, here is they come. this? <laughs> Cameron. Matt brought you some gourmet food. <laughs> oh, look at them go. Wow. I know. All right, so now we gotta go hook up the hammer mill to the truck so we can go with the neighbors, get the barley, get it milled up, and then come back and feed the pigs. Oh, lucky pigs. All right, lead the way. Perfect. All right, let's go. Okay, how quick are they gonna eat all this? Oh, they eat it right up. Oh, okay. They're pigs. <laughs> well, that's well said. They're kind of pigs. Science. So this bull is not just your, you know, run-of-the-mill bull, right? No, this is a Speckle Park bull. He's pretty special, 2,200-pound beast. Speckle Park, they're out of Saskatchewan, and uh, they're actually known for their excellent marbling of their beef. They've got great genetics. Oh, wow. Yeah. So this is quite sought after, is what you're saying. And we're excited to be one of the first in this area to raise Speckle Park. Oh, so cool. All right, so what's next? All right, well, let's go down to the barn. Hey, Kirsten, how are you? Hi. I heard you're here to put me to work, too, like your mom's been doing all day. Yep, this is my hen room. Your hen room? Oh, wow, there's so many of them. Oh my God, so we all... have to collect the eggs. Is it, I was gonna say, is that another chicken back there? <laughs> yeah, the that's roommates? a chicken. Yeah. Uh, he's on a date, clearly, so we should like <laughs> let him be. Like, <laughs> excuse me, chicks, Mr. Duck, Mrs. Duck. We already got a full basket. Yeah, time to make some uh, frittatas. <laughs> I'm kidding. We got frittatas, but all right, lead the way. Where do we go with these eggs now? Uh, we can put them um, on the counter. Okay. Oh. Mom, we have eggs. Awesome. Ducks, chickens. Perfect, thanks for getting them. Anytime. Did you have fun? Blast. Awesome. I would like you to know that any day you want, you can come to my farm and do my chores. Okay, deal, as long as I get a little bit of your allowance, though. No. No, no chance. Well, River Cafe ordered another uh, round of ducks. Okay. So, could you please deliver them? These guys right here? Yeah. Well, thank you again, guys. Where I got this from? Thank you so much, Matt. It was great. Bye. 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 <laughs> Hey, Sam. Hi. Great to see you. Yeah, good to see you, Thank too. you for having thanks. me. Well, thanks for coming. Oh, so beautiful. I literally just delivered some ducks to your back door to chef, and I came from Hard Rock Ranch, and you need to understand that Starla and her family speak so highly of you and your restaurant and your chef and what you're doing for the Calgary restaurant scene and Canadian cuisine as a whole. It means everything to them. Well, they are amazing, and what they do is amazing, and it's a big part. We're, we're a team. We're a family. Without them, without their ingredients, we wouldn't be able to do what we do, and we wouldn't earn all the awards that we do as well, so they're very much a part of that. Well, there's a saying, you know, and you've probably heard, you are what you eat. Right. <laughs> but we like to say, you are what your food eats. And that's everything about what happens on the farm. Um, how you know what they choose how, and how they choose to raise their animals. The the uh, the ducks delicious. I mean, duck is extremely hard 
ingredient to find at this quality. And um, you know, and then from here, our chef Matthias just adds a little innovation, and uh, he works very directly with them and talks back and forth about weight and age and all these all these parameters. That, you know, we just don't passively wait and for the ingredient to show up. We work with them and making some of those decisions that happen right on the farm. All right. Chef, wow. how are you? Good. How are you? Good. It looks amazing. amazing. So this is our Heart Rock Ranch duck. Uh, it is dry aged in house. We have some Edgar Farms asparagus, some spring fiddlehead shoots and morel mushrooms, uh, garden rhubarb and garden herbs, uh, wild fennel and uh, tangerine marigold flowers. This is actually a plum vinegar that was made in 2009. Wow. And we've been aging it in our pantry for quite some time. The duck is very unique because it's the only Alberta duck. Um, we've worked really closely with Starla to uh, culture a relationship with them. And then we dry age it so that intensifies that flavor and makes it even more um, you know, interesting and deep in flavor. So yeah, and with their feed, the way they have it, that the pea shoots and things like that, they, the legumes really come through in the fat. It's just like a really, really healthy fat on it. So. I fed them today, the very, yeah. the very pea shoots you speak of. This is, it's amazing, chef. Thank you so Thank much. You. Unbelievable. I mean, it tastes these potatoes. Right, get in there. Yeah, yeah, these are my favorite. I see a little red on the duck. Is that from just the smoke from the? That's from the, the from the aging. Well, that's, that's just from that, that's that's the dry aging. outer. Yeah, from the dry aging, and it starts to get a little bit of a crust. Oh, what a dish! Thank you so mm. much for inviting me into your space today. It was such a full circle day for me. So compliments to you and your chef and to the farmers that made this happen. Oh, it's a pleasure and thank you for acknowledging because without those incredible ingredients, we wouldn't be able to do what we do. Big thank you to our partners at Chevrolet for sponsoring this video. Make sure to like, subscribe to the channel and follow along this Truck to Table series.